All right, everybody, we're citing some sources. First, you want to go to oscillus.org. Once you're at Oscillus, go to Secondary Student. This is a great resource here uh, to actually cite sources. When you say, I need to, you go over to the right here, Cite My Sources, the MLA APA little symbol. Click that. And it brings you to these two options here, uh, MLA and APA. It's kind of it's up to you what you choose. I usually do MLA. It's a little bit easier for me. Just stay consistent. And on the right hand side, we have uh, lots of options for source type. That's where you think of what kind of source did I have? Did I have like a video? Did I find an article? Was it something from a newspaper or other? Uh, type of publication you start once you choose that you can go ahead and get into actually adding the information I chose the newspaper or periodical option here as an example what you do is you can see some of these different sources that have already been cited with different examples you basically just find the information from whatever source you have and fill it in based off of what you can find here if there's something that's blank then uh, that you don't have then don't worry about it just move on to the next one when you're ready you click the cite my source it pops up here right at the bottom you can highlight this and copy it so that you can then paste it to your works cited page and now we are back to our Google Doc that is attached in the Google Classroom you paste that onto there but we have some formatting things we need to do we, we need to make sure that the bottom of this is indented in and we see when I click the indent up there it may moves the whole thing I can't just hit tab in the right spot it's not working either so I actually have to go here hit enter to make it a new line and then hit the indent over or tab so that the second line is indented and that's just the formatting for these types of sources um, and it's just the way that we uh, it's expected in any sort of bibliography or works cited page then you go move down to the next one and type in whatever next one that you have, copy and paste it. Make sure you go by alphabetical order when organizing your cited work. And head back to Google Classroom now for this assignment, this video, and other attachments to help you with your work.